Good day, and welcome to the Report Wizard. Can you handle the magic? There you go, Chuck. The screen is all yours. You can read your introduction good. again. <laughs> Okay, well, I had I wanted to make sure we introduced, I don't have photos at this point, Matthew Olson, who, Matthew is on board here. Matthew, welcome aboard. Thank you. And, of course, Matthew was the one who integrated the report wizard into manager. Well, what we're here today to do is to basically kind of reintroduce to everybody. Report wizard has really been around last year. Uh, we actually <clears throat> ended up getting into this. Uh, because Matthew won a license that's a seven thousand dollar license at a conference, and we're able now to offer this to clients as an add-on report writer to your student manager report writer. And again, that is what the uh, session today is about. We should be able to do this in thirty minutes or less. So, and the idea is primarily to help you understand what it might provide you and let you decide whether or not you want to spend the extra money, <clears throat> and we'll talk about the price at the end, uh, the extra money to get the report wizard. So what we're about today, again, benefits. You know, where's the steak? You know, where's the beef, as the old Wendy's commercial said? What are the kinds of reports you can get out? We're not going to spend a lot on the technical back end of it, my main goal today is to kind of show you maybe more the sizzle. What are the kinds of things that are possible? <clears throat> and then, of course, talk about how you might want to implement those, how the license works with it, and again, whether or not you need how you might go about evaluating the pros and cons of, of uh, investing in another module. So what it's about, again, I wanted to, uh, again, we talk about Wizard being in Kansas and the Wizard of Oz and the remake the new movie, but a couple of things we want to make sure. The wizard, the report wizard is not magic. You don't just wave a wand uh, and make things happen. There is a way, and you must learn the way. <clears throat> uh, some people, I think, earlier thought that if they bought the report wizard, they wouldn't have to understand how the databases are put together. They wouldn't have to do any kind of homework or learning or practice on the piano before they can play Beethoven's Fifth. It doesn't work that way. Um, we think, Matthew thinks, and I'm getting convinced that it's probably easier to learn than the report writer in manager, but, but it, there is a learning curve. And again, want to make sure that nobody thinks that it's a CD. This is an instrument you must learn to play it. Um, again, uh, our opinion is that, my opinion, Matthew can chime in, that it supplements does not replace the report writer. Um, manager's report writer with quick reports and some of the special reports, zip code radius, are things that really are unique to the integrated, built-in student manager report writer. And that's something that you'll not give up. You won't lose it would add some additional elements. And then finally, but we do think the wizard, Matthew kind of looks like the wizard, so there you go. And we have our, our wizard there. So let's kind of get into what are the benefits and features. And by the way, we will, um, I want you to raise, raise your hands out there. We've got about 20 people. Lori, if you could give me the attendee list view. Raise your hand if you guys currently own the report wizard. So I kind of know who's on there that's got the report wizard. Lori, what's it look like? Well, it doesn't look like anything at the moment. You have to give it a second for people to Yeah, so to yeah, raise your hand. Okay, I'm looking. I'm looking now. Very good. About okay, we okay, we got several. All right. Yeah. And and that's good. Um okay, let everybody everybody lower their hand then. Okay. Um how how many of you uh, then have seen either the other report wizard webinar? or have, uh, have the report wizard. So raise your hand if you know a little bit about the report wizard from either a previous webinar. All right, we've got a few popping up there. All right, then we've got a few that are completely newbies then. So, all right, well, thank you. Uh, we, 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 we're going to hide you again. So um, what are the kind of things, a different, uh, more of a GUI, graphical user interface, um, instead of having to understand the scientific names of the tables and fields, you use <clears throat> more of the English names. 
uh, real-time dashboards, and we'll let Matthew maybe explain that a bit more. Common sizes for mailing labels, easy grouping of data, column widths, um, multiple output options, import and export reports. And I wanted to wanted to clarify that. So. Um, those of you that do have the report wizard, you are able to export and import reports just like you can in Student Manager. And that, again, is good because um, it will allow us to multiply your efforts as you're building and putting together these reports. The other one is one-click reports. And um, I wanted to say for deans and directors, and Lori wouldn't let me do that. But the idea is for the report challenge, that if you've got a director or a coordinator or a staffer who has, seems to have trouble navigating to a report, you, there is a way to put a shortcut to a report on their desktop. All they have to do is click the button and run the report. All right, Matthew, think of any others as I whip through there? Nope. Keep running. All right. All right. So. Um, what are the things really about the report writer that I think are freaking awesome? Uh, number one is scheduling reports. One of the features of the report writer is the ability to build a report, which is fine, you can do that, but that you can automatically or you can schedule that report on a particular day at a particular time to be emailed to a particular person. And again, Matthew, on the email, is there a limit to who all it could be sent to? Theoretically? Not that I ran into. OK. I, yeah. And that could be run every day, every other day. I mean, it's a weekly, daily schedule as to how that's done. Yeah, uh, yeah, daily, weekly, monthly. Um, you can also set up the query to, to pull like the last week or the last month. Okay. Or, you know, okay. like that. So again, uh, what what Matthew was saying was a relative element. If you had a dean that said, "I always I want to know how much income we brought in in the last seven days," um, that you could give them a report, and whenever they click on it, it would go back seven days from today, grab the data, and drop it in a report for them. Okay. Number two, drill down for detail. And again, uh, the reports in the wizard are dynamic. Uh, I'm going to ask a question again. Uh, I'm going to everybody's hands down. How many of you have used a third-party report writer like Report or like Crystal Reports or I don't know Matthew what others? Any big box Oracle kind of reporting? Okay, we've got a couple that have done that. You know the 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 wizard we think is really similar to that, and what that allows you to do as you're working with data, you can do some drill down options. Number two big one, and again, I think this is if you talk about the big three, charts and graphs. Um, Matthew had uh, made us some tools that we could use charts inside Student Manager Report Writer, but it was kind of limited. It, you had to do some contortion to get it to work right. Um, the integrated, the wizard has some integrated charts, graphs options that really are pretty cool. Um, calculations on numeric fields, that's, uh, again, averaging, uh, summing. Uh, um, I think there's several statistical evaluation elements there. So for those of you that are statistical wizards or marketing wizards, um, again, not that student manager doesn't have some of those. It's just that the wizard gives you, again, kind of a clearer access to that. And then again, finally, and this would be another one of my big three, that dashboards for the boss, the uh, report challenged, as Lori politically correct commented on, uh, so that you can give a dean, a director, uh, somebody who wants to know the info but doesn't want to learn anything about the internal report writer, their data, and they can get it, go home, and or they can get it and get out of your hair. All right, um, Lori, um, I'm going to pause for a second. If there's any questions or anybody got any buzz going on as we're moving forward. We're doing just fine. Thank you very much. OK, so um, at this point, then, let's take a look at uh, how the report wizard is set up on your system. And we'll take a look at a couple of reports. Um, and Matthew, I will tell you, uh, Matthew and I were fiddling with the demo data on the machine we're on. And we've got to change the queries on that. Um, now, 
we actually have a copy of the report wizard on a remote machine that would be in essence a sandbox so that if you did if you're serious about the report wizard and wanted to look at it uh, we can get you to that um, we'll talk about the deal later on I think uh, we, we used to say that we did not allow a test drive of the report wizard because of the license concerns I think we've addressed that so um, We'll, we'll give you an opportunity to certainly uh, try it before you buy. And as always, our money-back guarantee, if you don't like it, we'll give you the refund or the credit uh, applies. So uh, the report wizard will install on a machine. Now, again, Matthew, uh, the, the, uh, the client, uh, generally you put that on the server that you're running student manager on? Yeah. Matthew, you with me there? Yeah. Yeah. Installation of the wizard real quick is on the server that manager is on, the student manager is on? Yeah, the main component is on the server. There is like a little, little in, kind of a smaller install that uh, pulls um, you know, some of the DLLs and, and creates a shortcut on your desktop if you're running if no, you're going to be an admin or a designer, you're going to have the designer right. role. Yep. Okay. All right. But but again, we're not going to get into that. Okay. I'm going to run a student manager, um, and uh, so I'm bringing this up. Now you're going to notice something new here, uh, a new quick launch dashboard that Matthew and uh, Greg have put together, and uh, this is in version 16. Uh, you old hats may not care about this. We're thinking for new prospects. This might give them a little more uh, snazzy front end. So uh, reports. Let's look at reports. When you install the report wizard on the reports menu, you'll have a report design wizard link. So users uh, can click on that link. It will launch the report wizard. And then you can log in. Now, I'm going to log in as an administrator first. And this is basically then the uh, dashboard, the control panel for the administrator. Uh, the administrator is able to uh, create users. So again, once you have the report wizard, you'll need to uh, create users uh, who you're going to allow to use the system. Uh, you have the ability to kind of look at logged in users. It's kind of like, if you would, an application inside an application. It's an application inside Student Manager. Um, and again, uh, license schedule reports. You'll note there's the tool, schedule report. There's an editor. You've got formulas. Um, the help guide, I'm trying to think about student manager reports. Um, now, these are the reports that would be done with Report Wizard, right, Matthew? No, that's that's just about the program itself. About the program itself. OK. Oh, uh, the reports program, where it's located, uh, the, the license, serial number. All right. So that's really kind of like the student manager's um, environment view. Right. Um, Okay, so in terms of uh, the reports, and I'm going to go ahead and look at the reports uh, that we've got here. Uh, again, this is information about who I am. Um, this is the filter area. Uh, and again, it's somewhat, it's, well, it's actually quite a bit similar to student manager in the reports where you can pick a given report format and then be able to have multiple well, can you have multiple filters on the report, or is this all for the one report for the one fil the what? How do let me spit it out. Can you do multiple fi filters? Would it, there be it, multiple? It's meant to be one filter tied to one report. You could certainly copy the report and do a different okay. filter with it, or at any point just uh, you know change the filter. Uh, and again, so the the ability to change a filter is pretty good. Now, uh, this is what Matthew. I had the old 10F. I need to put in a new course number when we run it this time. So, uh, options to sort. Uh, if you have been modifying reports, uh, you know that there are some sort options on some reports and others not. 
uh, in the report uh, wizard, you really can take any element in the report and do a sort on it. You can organize how that report is going to lay out. Uh, some different options, how you want a header, do you want a footer. Uh, again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a, ra a show of hands here. Raise your hands if you have modified reports in Student Manager. I want a Matthew question while you're raising your hands, guys. Okay. All right. And eh, we've got uh, Jan. I know you've raised your hands. So, um, all right. So, but the idea is this is the header footer that is similar to the student manager header footer, only a little different, uh, more of a drag and drop approach. Output options again. You can send it to the print. You can send it to a file. Send it to an email. We're actually on a uh, remote co-located machine, so I don't have a printer printer on that remote machine. Sample of the report. The sample of the report would give you a kind of a thumbnail, if you would, of what this report looks like. So you can look at the report layout without even having to run a query. Um, Matthew, anything I'm missing in this quick overview? No, just the on the the file types on the file export uh, there's uh, about anything you can think of pdf Excel, okay. word rtf yeah and if yeah if you go to a file once you start to export that out you have some more options i believe so um, all right well let me go ahead and run a couple reports let's let's click on class roster Chuck, before you do that, can I ask a question? I have somebody telling me that their screen is not refreshing and they're still on the V4WARN slide. Is anybody oh. else having a problem with that? I just have the one report, but I wanted to check. So, if Matthew, how page. about you? I've been keeping up with you. Everything you click is just coming across. Well, you're local. That, not, well, but you're coming in through GoToMeeting. Right. Anybody else having an issue? Uh, I'm I'm not, but I do have that one report, and people are telling me no, we're good. So it must just be an isolated. Okay, issue. and again, for that particular user, you actually may want to log back out to close it and then launch back in again. Your system may have hung on your on your PC. So, and we are recording this, and it will be up on on the web in a day. So, all right. So we're going to go in now. Again, the course code begins with you can define a predefined value as a default. But you can change that when you go to run the query or the filter, which really is nice. So I want to go to one of my 13 ACE 010A. Where, where, where'd you go? 13 ACE. Here we go. And run that. And so it's running this up. And there is a roster. Uh, and again, fairly simple. Uh, there are multiple report format, how many pages, if it were a multiple report, you can actually tile. So if you had a multi-page report, you could actually show it. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You could actually show eight pages on one window. Um, one of the cool things in this, and our little report doesn't give us much in the way of uh, review, um, well, like this 100%. But there is a search for text, and this is cool. If you've got a mailing label list and you said, well, I want to know if Greenwood uh, the, uh, are at the new address or the old address, and you're not sure what the zip code is to know which page of your 100-page report to look for, you search for the name of the data, actually, Greenwood, and ka -ching, it'll take you to the spot in the report that matches that particular text. I just think that's cool. Um, again, the ability to email the report right from the particular area. And close the preview window. All right, um, course details. Let's take a look at that. Running the report. And this, again, may be a report where Oh, well, it's running all of the data, it looks like. So, all right, here we go. So, um, fit in the window. Now, this is a multiple page report. So, if we said, let I want to see three by one, and so it'll show you one, two, three pages across, the, across your display, uh, allows you multiple options. And then again, if I wanted to find a uh, report writer, 
I think there's a report writer quiz that the text wasn't found. Uh, it's called student manager. We'll get some of these. And now we're beginning to see, here are all the instances that have student manager somewhere in the data in the report. Um, all right, well, I'm actually, uh, I promised 30 minutes. I want to wrap up here. Again, that is, uh, uh, these only have at this point these four or five reports in the system. Um, but that, Matthew, is there anything particular you wanted to uh, now, this is an example of a relative date uh, query, where the add date is greater than to equal date, which is today's date, minus 30. So that would be any course that was added to the manager database in the last 30 days from the day you ran the report. And you can use that kind of reference on registrations, payments, new names, et cetera, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, Lori, questions, issues, things going on? No, not that I can see. I think you've done an excellent job. Well, let me, uh, Matthew, any uh, big things that I'm less than out, and of course, Matthew, I'll give Matthew a bit more info in a bit, but I, I, he, he can talk for days on this, and we'll talk about that later. So, all right, let me get back to the slideshow. So, we've got some different reports, uh, cross-tab, we didn't mention that. Again, what it is not, and we, we said that earlier, not a replacement. You're still going to want to use manager has uh, the quick reports. Uh, manager has a quick reports that I think are still wonderful, again, specialty reports um, that are in there all ready to go. Um, not, again, you can't report on data that doesn't exist, which is a duh, but that's there. And again, it does not eliminate your need to understand the ideas about relational databases and how exactly report design is kind of done. So again, you, you've got some homework to do on that. Um, licensing issues, and, and uh, in, the, in the way this works, because we're working with a commercial vendor, it's not just our sandbox. Um, we are actually, we buy licenses from the vendor courtesy of Matthew's special price purchase here, uh, that we can get licenses once we've got a, a system license. Uh, and then we allow, we sell those out to you guys. You can have one user per license. And, and what that is, is a, a, a cook, a architect, a builder, you get one of those per school uh, who can build reports, assign values to users. You can have as many viewers as you want to allow to come in and access the reports. And again, based on the permission you give to the user, you could let them add or edit the filter or the query for the report, change the sorts, and run the reports. Um, and again, Matthew, the idea of a private report, uh, can you build a report that just is given to the dean and nobody else would generally get to it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There, there's permissions available okay. on all that stuff, so yeah. All right, so that you can, again, do some eyes-only reports. If you had some financial reports that you wanted to say, well, only the business office gets to run, um, you, can, you can limit that, or the payroll, faculty payroll, this kind of stuff. All right, I'm going to pause here on this slide and see if there are any questions here, and obviously... We'd be happy to visit with you afterwards. Uh, Matthew is certainly probably the number one contact. Lori and I would be able to help if you've got questions about the licensing issue. We do um, have a couple of questions for you. Um, right. and, and we're going to start at the bottom, the most recent, which is unusual for me. So stay <laughs> with me, folks. Uh, can you add a logo or a graphic to a report? Uh, Matthew, I'm going to let Matthew field these. Yes. There's yep. uh, uh, the, kind of the the uh, design view that you're used to in Student Manager, you can get access to that in the uh, Design Wizard and and put logo images, whatever else on there. Okay, so the answer is yes. Okay, and is it difficult to format a report? You showed us some that were lovely; they looked really good, but did it take you all night? And, well, and again. 
Go ahead, Matthew. Depends on on what you mean by format. There are some um, canned formats, so straight out of the box, um, you know, automatically formatted, and and I think they look nice. Uh, but you can go in there there and and edit a format to adjust it to exactly how you need it to be. So, so again, and we talked earlier, there are things like a label, a Avery label formats, uh, like on your Word, when you open a Word doc, you have choices of different uh, number of Avery label formats, and there are some canned format elements in there, and you don't have to go into columns and labels and try to, you know, guess how many uh, inches wide it is, so, all right. I like the idea of the, the canned reports. I think that's a really nice idea. Right, or canned templates, a lot of them. Yeah. Uh, and can you show them how to set up a filter again? Yeah, let's get to that. And the report writer, I minimized it. I got too much going on here. Do, 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 do. Report writer. So if we're on a filter, this is the filter. If you click the filter box, uh, we're not this keeping now. Hold on a second. There you go. Okay. Are, are you with me? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so again, this is the filter change element, very similar to Student Manager. Add, delete, uh, edit, clear, uh, store, retrieve, remove. So if I wanted to edit this, and so here we have the filter course, add date, and again, this is what we were talking about the field names that are human fields rather than the aceware semi-scientific nomenclature field, you know, category, coordinator, course code. So you can pick the field. Uh, you've got, again, greater than, less than. How do you want to compare it to? Um, and then you do an expression. And then uh, there is the ask later or just have a fixed expression in terms of how you want to uh, store that. So again, pretty uh, fairly clear, I think, way to do that. Other questions, Lori? That does it for now. OK, well, let's get this wrapped up for our time frame here. Um, so again, uh, the, the whole point of this, anybody can be a creator or editor of reports, but you can only have one cook or one engineer in the control room at a time. So if you've got multiple staff who actually want to build reports, you can have them share an admin password. Uh, there would need to be some coordination as to, you know, Friday morning, Bill wants to do course reports, and Thursday afternoon, Mary wants to do financial reports uh, if she wants to be modifying and creating them. So, um, all right. Um, pros and cons, again, Expense, there is a couple of new learning curves, although again, I think if you've done the ACEWARE report writer, you should be able to move to it fairly quickly. Pros, and again, the big ones, charts, graphs, dashboards, mailable reports, and again, shorter learning curve, um, and again, probably a shorter access to most reports. So, um, why need it? These again would be the three big things again. Steps, again, talk to your tech. Uh, if you are ready to uh, do a test drive, let us know. We can get you going. Uh, pass that on to your financial people and make the decision. Now, here's the deal, EOFY, iffy, iffy deal, uh, end of fiscal year. Uh, we are, the price for, um, the price for uh, the report wizard is now $1,495. Went up last month, kind of quiet. We're going to offer it at $12.95 for the rest of the summer. Uh, what you'll get for that is the wizard will build for you three free reports or help you through three free reports. And we are also, Matthew has volunteered to do three hours of webinar training. That would be a public webinar for report wizard users, um, uh, meet the wizard starter, focusing on charts dashboard and then dealing with more advanced cross tab and advanced tricks and again you'd have an opportunity to sit in with that so we'll get you training right off the bat I believe that's it questions you've got my number my email um, uh, as always we'd love to hear you we're on Facebook YouTube LinkedIn <clears throat> we're out there uh, we've got a newsletter if you're not on the newsletter go to the website sign in on that 
Next webinar, about a month from the day, importing tools. Um, and this is another wizard that Matthew's put together. So, all right, we're almost a little past 10.30. Any wrap-up questions from the group, Lori, or comments, Matthew, that you'd like to mention about the webinar? You and Matthew didn't get a webinar date yet for that yet. Have you, Lori? We're, we're thinking about the 24th of July, but don't hold us to that. We're still working on it. Still working on that. OK, so the idea would be end of July, 1st of August. You'll probably do it, what, once a week? Or will you try to do uh, Monday, you know, Tuesday, Thursday, Tuesday oh, kind no, of thing? Once a week. Once a week. Once a week, OK. All right, questions, how folks are doing? We, we like to, to leave a little you know, wanting for people. Familiarity breeds contempt, so just once a week. <laughs> yeah, OK, yeah, not get too, <clears throat> too much in the schedule. Well, people might want to take a break from vacation. And, as, and again, uh, those webinars will be, of course, uh, recorded and archived and made available to the wizard uh, users. So. All right. All right. Matthew, any closing thoughts? No, I'm I'm good. All right, um, Lori, thank you. Thanks everybody for taking time out of your summer schedule when you could be golfing or fishing or uh, doing yard yard work. So um, we will let you get on to your activities. Lori, thank you. Matthew, thanks for setting in, and uh, we hope you enjoyed the wizard. Have an excellent day. Have a good day, everybody. everybody. Bye bye. <laughs>